Guys, I have something very cool to show you on this episode of TFL Truck. You have seen us tow very big, very heavy Cimarron trailers, but you have not seen us use a trailer like this. This is a toy hauler, which means this trailer behind me is basically a house and it costs as much as a house and it's got a garage and let me show you inside come on yep this is what they call the living quarters this is the house part the kitchen the living room the bedroom but i need an expert cj here at transwest to help me show you all the features of this thing and also use the garage space, which is what I'm most excited about. Finally, a proper toy hauler. Of course, this review would not be possible without our friends at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. They have these Freedom Trailers right now for sale and prices vary, so check them out using the link below and ask if you're interested. CJ, you know this trailer the best. Dude, tell me the specs overall, like size, weight, what are we looking at? Yeah, so right here's a 2020 Cimarron Freedom model. It's brand new, this is our toy hauler living quarters. This trailer, as it sits right here, is 32 foot on the floor. We have a nine foot nose because we enclosed that front end. So true nose to tail on this trailer is 41 feet. Now, what kind of a weight are we talking about here? So this trailer as it sits is 13,625 pounds, okay. empty. Uh, as we get into living quarters, we'll talk a little bit about why that weight maybe is up a little bit based on the size of it, but that's because of that hardwood cabinetry that Outlaw does on these trailers. Let's go inside. All right. First of all, before we get in, is this trailer sitting a little bit taller than a, like a regular Cimarron horse trailer? Yeah, compared to our horse trailers, we actually have picked this trailer up a little bit. We know that a lot of these are gonna go into off-road type conditions, not the best roads, getting back into where you wanna go play with your toys. So we actually picked this box up a little bit more to give you a little bit more clearance. Okay, for rough terrain or maybe angles yeah, or whatever? Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, let's jump in. All right. Uh, outlaw conversion, right? Outlaw conversion. So okay. what we are is we're standing in a custom home is, is what we tell customers. Uh, gonna go over some of the yeah. features here. Yeah. So yeah, kitchen, this is a raised bar top here. You have your kitchen sink, two burner cooktop stove, microwave, nice big 6.0 refrigerator with freezer. This is kind of a Western theme, is that fair to say? I mean, a little bit? A little bit. We've kind of incorporated some of the designs and colors that we have in our horse trailer living quarters and kind of brought them over onto this trailer here. This box height on this trailer is 7'7 seven, seven tall. Okay. But then on these on these toy haulers, these goosenecks, you know, it gives you a little bit more room in here. They're not like the, the towable camper toy haulers where you can walk in and basically walk in your bedroom. All right, so this is like, is that like a king or a queen? Or That's a queen there. Okay. So, uh, but you could probably put something bigger in there, couldn't you? Potentially, yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, so what's the technology like? So in here, I mean, it's set up. We've got TVs on both sides of this wall, so you can watch up in the bed area or down here in the living space. Uh, on this trailer here, we've gone in and, and made it to where it's Wi-Fi capable. You just need to get your SIM card, you plug it in. So this over here is kind of a, a, kind of a central location for uh, what we have going on. I mean, battery disconnect, slide out. This has an onboard 7,000 gas generator. We have two ACs on it. So it is 50 amp service. We wanted that bigger uh, generator on there. So it's remote start at the back. Uh, this here goes into our inverter. This trailer is equipped with an inverter. So that goes into that system. And then just lights in general. In this space, the width of it right now is with a slide out fully extended. Yeah, so the slide's out, so it really opens this trailer up. And then that also, that is a jackknife couch, so that will fold down into a bed. So then back here, I mean, it is equipped with a full bathroom, toilet, a uh, lot of uh, clothing options as far as storage in here. You have a radius shower, and then a bathroom vanity with a sink as well. All right, so I like how the wooden floor kind of continues into the bath, right? Yes, sir. And then we go into the garage. This is my favorite part of this. Yeah. All 
between the wheel wells there is over six feet of space which is great because some side by sides like the turbo s razor are about 72 inches wide which is about six feet so there's plenty of width but the next thing i want to do is count the number of sleeping positions in this trailer so you can bring a big family or maybe a couple families so let's fold these out I'm just over 6'2". Oh yeah. Okay, so you have, if you had uh, children, maybe two can sleep here and two there. Perfectly fine, so four smaller people. So what's the length of this uh, space? So on this garage, it's 16 feet. This is standard on, on the trailers that we've built for inventory right now. So now we've got shelving. So this, this could be kind of equipped as a garage. Correct, absolutely. Okay. So you've got a cabinet there, a shelf to store items on. This folds down into a bench. They've also gone in up front. That's kind of an oil tray up there. You have electric plugs, first of all. You can charge phones, anything you want to there. This is one of the biggest freedom trailers that Cimarron makes. 41 feet long, about 8 feet wide, and it's also very tall and very spacious for all your toys in the back, and of course, all your nice amenities in the front. But they also call it the fastest trailer in the world. We, we kind of joke around, that's what I at least have thrown out there. It's the fastest trailer in the world, is that spoiler. Uh, but there, there is a purpose to that spoiler. Okay, what is it? As you're going down the road, what typically happens is, is your air, as it goes around this trailer, it kind of circulates around and it rotates back here. And it usually just covers this whole back of this trailer with dirt, you know, rain, ice, yes. whatever muck is out there. So actually what that spoiler does is it kind of forces that air down and kind of pushes it away so we're not seeing that build up at the back of the trailer as much on these. So you can clean, kind of keep it a little cleaner. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So how does this door work? Yep, so it is a manual. Okay. So you just undo your butterfly latches. And it just folds down. Having a folding trailer door like this is nothing new, but a feature I really love on this Freedom trailer is actually the cable assist system. It mounts really close to the body of the trailer right here, not all the way down here, so when you're walking around you don't have to be like caught up by this cable every time so that's a great feature that was easy peasy and this is pretty tall too yeah this is pretty tall the other thing that makes it easy is back here, Cimarron went ahead and put a dovetail on this. Okay. So it actually, you know, our transition point coming from the ramp into the, the actual garage area, it helps with our angles. All right, what else are we missing? Should we look on the other side? Yeah, let's check it out. On this driver's side, something really cool is hiding. In this hatch in the back, it's actually a fuel system, a fuel pump. This trailer is carrying fuel on board because of the generator um, and to run all the accessories and air conditioning. But because it has a fuel tank in here, it also has a pump so you can fill up your side-by-sides, your golf carts, your other machines on the trail, or maybe your pickup truck even. Uh, that's really cool, really nice. Because this is a toy hauler and not a horse hauler, the trailer sits a little bit taller and you could tell in one easy way. There's some space here to the trailer and the center line, horizontal line of the hubs. If you look at some other horse trailers, for the horses to get in and out easier, this trailer would be sitting lower. And that's a nice touch for some rough road usage. Right here's access to your 7,000 own and gas generator. Nice. Everything's very accessible right here. On this, I'll kind of point out to you is we put this amber turn signal in the middle. The reason why is this is a big long trailer. 
this is just kind of letting people know you're coming over. It also works as an, an additional marker light as you're going down the road at, in the evening. Okay. Back here you have your fresh water fill and then your city water fill. So if you are able to access water, you know, at a campsite or something along those lines, you can hook your hose right there. It'll bypass your fresh water. It won't use that. Okay. And then down below is your sewage and your gray holding tanks as far as where you're going to dump from. Cimarron and Outlaw have teamed up. They do a great job on getting those holding tanks up underneath. There's nothing really hanging down from the trailers. Again, we picked this trailer up for road clearance, but not going to see knocking those tanks off or, or doing damage. So you have a big, beautiful toy hauler, this trailer right here, and you have to have a comfortable ride, right? Well, there's a solution for that. Gen Y heavy duty gooseneck hitch, a torsion hitch. And check this out. This is a brand new unit we just received recently. It has a 25,000 trailer weight capacity and a 4,500 tongue weight capacity. And it's perfect for this particular Freedom trailer. This is the Pegasus is it has two torsion axles basically in here and it can cushion the ride as you go down the road and we've tested these hitches before and they do work they cushion some of that motion from the trailer so you can get a more comfortable ride we have many different kinds of these hitches you can install them the different diameter tubes you have a lot of height adjustment and if your trailer has different types of pins, you can use different pins as well. Like you can see on this trailer right here. Many trucks like the GMC Dually here with this flatbed system uses utility tracks like this, where you could put rings or D-rings or cleats. Um, and the trailer uses the same system. So you can transfer a cleat from the truck to the trailer. And it's nice, you can reuse your cleats right here and tie down your golf cart or your side-by-side -side and anything else you're bringing maybe your bicycles or motorcycles and they sell different types of these as well it's pretty neat and a power awning really important right yeah power awning which is fantastic uh, on the manuals actually we're pr pretty much doing electric on everything the reason why is because the price point's almost the exact same in today's world and honestly a lot of people aren't when they're retracting their manual they're not putting it back correctly they're actually unlocking it which can come open going down the road do damage to the side of the trailer and rip the awning right off yeah absolutely and there's some light there's a light bar in here correct side and speakers and, sp and right. exterior speakers so a good place for entertainment. So on this trailer here, we enclose this front end with this roll up door. And what that does is it just keeps everything underneath here just nice and clean, you know, out of the elements, road blast, snow kicking up, mag chloride, etc. Just yeah. keeps everything nice and clean. I mean, you've got your propane bottles, your batteries, spare tire, jacks. We've even got our, our uh, 50 amp cord stored underneath here just additional storage for you as well and it does have dual jacks or single so this is dual okay. and the reason why is on our Cimarron living quarters with the slide out we do dual jacks okay it doesn't have a slide depending on the length of the trailer we might do a single what's going on up here what's, what's this so this right here is actually when you go to dump your black ah. tank and gray tank this is that hose that stores in there, just kind of up out of the way again. I cannot wait until the summer goes into full swing and we can forget about quarantine and actually start using these trailers properly behind big heavy duty trucks and maybe even go to the dunes and run some side-by-sides in style. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for more news, use and real world truck and trailer reviews. See you next time. It may not appear so, but this golf cart right here has a heavy duty Allison transmission and it's built on a Freightliner chassis. And on the next episode of Fastlane Truck, 
We're gonna jump this golf cart over six Freedom trailers. You should come back and see it.